her back into your life. Who is She's her? She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I want to see if it'll uh, ring itself, actually. How many times does the phone ring? Like eight? Holy shit, my thumb is swollen. Fine. God damn, I thought it was gonna ring itself. Whoa, where am I? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Oh. Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What? Oh, no. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? I They'd did. want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No. No, you betrayed me. Sorry, but you're in my story now. What? No! <laughs> Okay. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Morning employee, for press M on your key, okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press G. Okay. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. You know what? I can't press anything else but K, okay. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of Whoa, wild when did, expeditions when into did the that change? Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to hey, him. Hey, baby. Wanna give me some smooching? And a watch T- Oh, oh, I have a TV! And so he began to what? fantasize about his own. <laughs> First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of oh. his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. This is so unfair. I can't have anything of my own. Terribly. Spend, time, spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each Freedom? door. Freedom? The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was no, I want to get out. to behold. I am kind of hungry. As he wandered through ah! the fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible Who are all these uh, dead, uh, who are all these finally candidates? Room with I don't want and this. Controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Tell your... I don't have kids, though. You're yeah, fine. It was such a wonderful fantasy. Kids! And so in his head, he were you? it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, <sighs> that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Don't Must know why I'm be? so tired. Perhaps if he played just one more time. <sighs> Baby, I've been meaning to tell you something for a while now. We might be married, but I never told you. But I. But there is no. No! How could there possibly be? 
In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. <laughs> the longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. At least I hate Mondays. I am gonna go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in <laughs> this world, he no! can never be anything but an what's... observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. He won't let yeah, me free! Stanley, the next time the oh, screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm not gonna do this one, because he said not to do it. One. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna click it. Let me free! Free the Stanley! Free him! I think I have to press it. Damn it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? You can't. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. What am I doing the standing up? I should sit down and do my work. You're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried... <laughs> Okay, so I actually pressed a button and I died. That was good. I didn't like that ending, though. My wife was fake. Ripped my heart out. I'm alive! No idea how long I've been recording for. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Think Stanley this might decided be the last to go to run, the meeting room. Perhaps but being the last Emma. run, I need to make this one of the best. Let's get to it, shall we? Hoo -ah. Hoo -ah. What? This is new. This is very new. I think that's new. When Stanley came to a set of two open okay. doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah. <sighs> I'm gonna. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of options this over here. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Plus the hallway Perhaps was he wanted to stop so by the employee lounge first, different. just to admire it. Nope. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley, for the first but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the yes. first open door on his left, and so he detoured okay. through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. What's this way? Nope, that is a locked door. It's a locked door if I've ever seen one. Yet there was not a single person here either. Hmm. Feeling this away, is weird. Disbelief, it's like a Stanley decided times. to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Gotta do it. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say <laughs> anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Okay. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay, guy. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his yep. boss's office. To be rich, it is a crime. To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life would be to have to pick just one. Can't turn on the sink? Can't flush the toilet? Just took a dookie. Nobody heard. Oh my god. What does that say? Business strategy? Wow.
do. I'm gonna roll out my thing because apparently I spit and I got some uh, some slime on my la uh, my computer screen. So I'm gonna just you can probably hear me wiping it, but I'm gonna wipe that up. I think we made it. Let's see where we're at. Same exact place. Okay. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, yep. blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Two, eight, five, four. No, damn it. Two, eight, four, five. There we go. Couldn't see my cursor for a second. Or not my cursor, my crosshair thingy. I'm still waiting for something to be over here. I know there should be something over here. Flashlight, no flashlight. Oh, it's that face. Button! Going down! Woo! Yay! Oh. Where am I? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nah, not gonna do it. Let's see what I can do over here. Click. The lights rose oh. on an enormous room oh. packed with television screens. Oh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life. Oh Their my God! Revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Damn Skippy, which really sucks, but whatever. Beam this me up, Stevie. This mind-control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Open says me. Up no. says me. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was Inconceivable! It had he truly spent his entire life Utterly blind to the world? Yes! I mean, no! The proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, One, Stanley two, decided that this machinery four. would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For Three, he would dismantle the controls once five, and for all. I want to find out this deactivation code. There's usually only five buttons, right? I wonder if it says it over here. Danger. Electric shock risk. Mind control, ideal waiting output. No. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna look around, try and find out what each one of the buttons does. Or what the buttons. What order the buttons go in, I guess you could say. Because. I. I just wanna experience a new ending. Okay, that does nothing. All this is offline. Uh, my control status offline, okay. Three. I'm just gonna try three, four, one, two, five. That, that might be it. Three. Do, 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 do. 
four. Where are you, narrator? Narrator. Hmm. There has to be like a note or something saying What's this button do? You know what? No. I'm gonna do the bad ending. I'm gonna look and get it right. Because there's a code. I will find it. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the <laughs> controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Fine. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so Fine. much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls Five. off, Five. and Three, leave. Four. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Four. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Three. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating Two. the entire complex. How One. long until detonation then? What is this? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your Think story right now. Code. Shape Wait, it to your shark. heart's desires. Oh, this is much One, better than what three, I had in four, mind. What a it? shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. One, Mere moments three. until the bomb night goes shark. off. But what precious moments. Oh, wait, hey, there's doors. More time to talk about you. God damn it! About me. Where we're we going? Charge? What all this means? I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. All right, that's you're just two. Two. Anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Okay, so to them. two. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Two. I hit two. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, Two. pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the oh office sink into just the ground, two. swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Wait. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Three. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you okay. is quite rich. Two. I almost hate to see it go. Three. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, Three. only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this, this so much. Red? You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra okay. time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Okay, oh dear okay. Me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Yellow. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer Green. that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running there from is button something. to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Okay. One. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why Two. Why do you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Okay. One, so one solved? One then you baby blue. any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stand you find, need to find a blue. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Uh, I don't know what to do! Instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. Oh my god, I don't know what tragedy. to do. You wanted to control this world, that's Incorrect. fine. Green. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Okay. Take okay, a look goodbye. Clock. What? That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. 
no ending this here. Is just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your friend? Enable backup or will power you to activate. What is backup power? Choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the journey. What is this? And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say. What does it say? I can't read it. Press any key? No! Sad face. Oh, damn it. Well, everybody. That happened. Um. Yeah, so. I will try to figure that out next time. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, a favorite, and if you really, really like my content, subscribe today and get a video tomorrow, except on the weekends, because I am lazy. But see you later, guys. Have a good day, and bye-bye again. Bye-bye again. Bye-bye again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.